This is part two of lesson one under Fourier series analysis. In the following example, we will discuss the Fourier expansion of a function defined on a given interval. So here we find the Fourier series of f of x equals 4x defined from 0 to 10. Also, we sketch the graph. For a period of p equals 10, the graph of the corresponding periodic function is shown below. The function is 4x from x equals 0 to x equals 10, which is a diagonal line from 0 to 10. And then we try to expand this periodically outside the interval with the same period of 10. Now, since the limit is not from the negative L to L form, we can take the limits to be from C to C plus B. So, we take C to be 0 and then C plus B to be equal to 10. Now, since, half, since L is half of the period, so L should be 5. The Fourier coefficients will be obtained as follows. So, we define A sub O to be 1 over 2L from C to C plus B, F of X dx. So, uh, L is 5, so 1 over 2, 5, F of X is 4X dx. And then, integrating from 0 to 10 will give you a sub o equals 20. And then, for a sub n, that is 1 over L from C to C plus B, f of x cosine n by x over L dx. And then, substituting the value of L will give you 1 over 5. Okay, the limit will be from 0 to 10. f of x is 4x, so l is 5, so cosine n by x over 5. So we will integrate this using integration by parts. Okay, so we'll take x to be your u, and then cosine n by x over 5 dx will be taken as your dv. Okay? So, integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So, your u is x and then dv is cosine n by x over 5 dx. Differentiate u with respect to x, so that gives you du equals dx. And then integrating dv will give you v. Integrating the right-hand side will give you 5 over n by sine n by x over 5. The correction factor is the reciprocal, which is uh, 5 over n pi. Integral of cosine is positive sine. So substituting so x is equal to 1 over 5 integral of 4x cosine n pi x over 5 you can factor out 4 over 5 here. And then uv, so x, and then this is your v. So this is our u. And then the other function is uv. Minus integral of v du. So this is our v, and then our d u a from here 
And then for A sub n, we now substitute the limit you know, from 0 to 10. Okay? You know, it, the integral of this will be negative 5 over n pi, and then you have 4 over 5 outside. And then correction factor is also 5 over n pi. Integral of sine is negative cosine. So when x is equal to 10, we'll, that is 40 over n pi sine 2 pi n when x is 10. This is positive. Okay, 5 will cancel out. You have 20 n squared pi squared. Cosine x is 10, so cosine 2 pi n. And when x is equal to 0 for the lower limit, it will be 0 because x is 0 here. And then minus 20 over n squared pi squared cosine 2 pi n. Okay, so take note that this is, the sum of this is 0. Okay. And then Okay, so this will now be equal to zero. And note that for n equals one, two, three, sine n pi will always be zero because uh, the terminal axis will always lie at the positive x axis. And that will always give you uh, sine 2 pi or so 2n pi equal 0. And therefore, this is equal, this is also equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, n, a, a sub n is equal to 0. Now, for the coefficient b sub n, so 1 over n integral from c to c, c plus b, f of x this time. The function is sine, okay. Now we substitute the value of L, so 1 over 5. F of x is 4x, so this is n pi x over 5. So we in also integrate this by, by parts. So take this as your u and then it will be your dv. Okay, so your u is... <coughs> x, so derivative of u is uh, dx, so du is equal to dx, and then integrating dv, that gives you v, integral of sine, or integral of sine is negative 5 over n pi, cosine n pi x over 5. So substituting the limits, okay, and take note that sine 2 n pi is equal to 0 and cosine 2 n pi is equal to 1 for n equals 1, 2, 3, and so on. And so substituting um, or applying the sine 2 n pi equals 0 and then cosine n pi equals 1, substituting the limits, you know, then simplify. Of, uh, you can verify that b sub n is equal to negative 40 over n pi. So from the previous slide, we have a sub o equals 20, a sub n is equal to 0. We substitute in the Fourier series formula. This is your a sub o. Okay. Now, the first term will be equal to 0. And then B sub N is, so this is your B sub N, okay, multiplied by sine N by X over L, L is 5. So this is uh, in the formula. Or you may, so you, you, uh, you can have this as your final answer, or you can substitute uh, first few values of uh, N, so this is uh, 20, and then you can factor out negative 40 over pi. 
the constant value. Okay. And then when n is equal to 1, uh, you have uh, 1 here, sine n pi one, x. And then I forgot here. So when n is equal to 2, you should have 1 half here. Uh, sine 2 and pi 2 and pi over 5 and then when n is equal to 3 you have one third here okay one third uh, sine 3 and pi over 5 and so on okay. for example number 3 we find the Fourier series from 4 to negative 4 f of x is uh, from negative, is negative 4 from negative 4 to 0, and then 4 from 0 to 5. So the period is equal to 2 pi, n is equal to pi. The Fourier coefficients will be as follows. So we just substitute l, which is 2 pi. So, 1 over 2, uh, rather L is pi, so we have 1 over 2 pi here. And then we split the uh, the integral from negative pi, pi to 0, your f of x is negative 4. And then from 0 to pi, your f of x is 4. And then observe that the integral will be equal to 0. And for a sub n, you have 1 over l from negative l to l f of x cosine n by x over l. Okay, integrating from uh, negative 4, from negative pi to 0, negative 4 cosine n by x over pi, dx plus 1 over pi, from 0 to pi cosine n by x over pi dx. So note that the since f of x will always be okay, your your f of x is always constant, and then this is an even function. Okay, the graph of this is uh, symmetric about the uh, y-axis. Okay, so integrating integrating from from negative pi to pi, the area will be equal to zero. Okay. And then for the coefficient b sub n, okay, so we substitute f of x negative 4, but the limit will be from negative pi to 0, and then positive 4 from 0 to pi. So this is direct integration, the integral of sine is cosine. Uh, by the way, pi here will just cancel out, and then the correction factor will be 1 over n. Integral of uh, sine is uh, negative, so this is positive. The limit will be from negative pi to zero. And then, similarly, you have uh -huh, negative four over n pi here. Integral of, integral of sine is uh, negative cosine. Okay. Uh, your uh, pi will cancel out. And then you have a correction factor of uh, one over 1 over n, and then integral from uh, 0 to 0 to 5. And then, substituting the limits, simplify, okay? Verify that your b sub n will be 8 over n pi times 1 minus cosine n pi. Okay? So substitute now in the Fourier series expansion your a sub o is zero 
your a sub n is zero. So your series will contain only the uh, sine function. This is your b sub n. Okay, this is your sine n pi x over l. Okay, since l is pi, so you get sine n x. And note that cosine n pi is negative 1 raised to n. So that is equal to 1 when n is even and negative 1 when n is odd. So for n equals 2, 3, you can expand your series into the following. You can factor out the constant 16, 16 over pi. This is when n equals 1. Okay. When n is equal to 2, Okay, uh, n is even, so 1 minus 1, you get a 0 term. So when n is even, the terms uh, are 0. And then for odd terms, you have sine, sine x, 1 third sine px, plus 1 over sine sine 5x. So you can predict the remaining terms. No? So the next one here should be 1 over 7 sine 7x and so on.